Hi, this uh, quick tutorial is for how to set up hot folders with Filmmaker. So uh, it assumes that you have already set up and initialized Filmmaker and done your ink density wizard so that the customer is happy and satisfied with the output. Uh, you need to enable hot folders for every, um, for every queue. It's an individual queue setting. Uh, we have one queue set up. It's in 4900 separations. You can uh, get to the properties. You can double click the tab, which will bring you to the queue properties test page. Alternatively, you can go under the menu items, queue, properties. Brings us to the same properties page. We are looking for the hot folders option on the left hand side. And you're going to um, enable the queue hot folder. Now, there was no uh, previous defined path. So we immediately were prompted for a browse for a folder. The only thing that you must note here that has not been clarified in, the, in, in this little wizard is that you must choose a folder that's empty. So you can use a folder that currently exists. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the, the top level folder and I'll make a new subfolder. So I just simply click OK. And then the path gets updated onto the, the, the physical location on, on Windows. So um, this is for this single queue only, Epson 40 and 100 separations. We simply hit OK. The hot folder is now running, enabled, and being monitored every time Filmmaker is launched and running. I guess that's another second important note. Filmmaker must be running in order to monitor a hot folder. This here is the location of the newly created hot folder. So I'm just going to go up a level and I'm going to drop in just the test EPS file. So I'm going to just copy it into the hot one and it gets immediately picked up by the queue and it gets rasterized. And that is the quick tutorial on hot folders.